You don't have to disclose a potential ghost, but you do have to disclose a haunting. What's wrong with it? It's just like Yeah, but he doesn't like it. There can't gonna... be an issue with it. It's just no, like... No, there's an issue with it. He's not happy. <laughs> I'm a 17. <laughs> District 12. Maybe there ain't nobody like you. Do you feel the same? Welcome back. What were we saying yesterday? Bosom. B boudoir. Boudoir. We're in the boudoir. And we were saying what language is, is boudoir? boudoir? Let me just settle this here and now. Because I we think thought, it's French, it, but... Yeah, but chambre is No, French. but is boudoir more of a sexual, like... like a, does it mean like a... Oh, right. You know? Do you know what I mean? I do Define. know what I mean. We also painted our nails white. Because, goodness... I'm I mean, if you see these up look. close... They it looks are, like tippex. It looks like tippex, tippex on just gross nail beds because all the glue. My fake tan on my hands looks good though. Yeah, <gasps> mine doesn't look too good. Yeah. Whoa. Yours looks really nice. Do you nice. know what the trick is? Look at that pretty seamless fake tan. Which there, one is these? Do you know what the trick is? So um, I just put too much on my hands. No, because so look, my chest looks really nice. Do you want to hear my? Sorry, yeah, go. So you put the fake tan on, like put it on the hands, like over each finger. Okay. And then, after like an hour, I wash my hands with soap. Wash my hands. And then it's fine. And look, it's not like it's, uh, it's fine. So there's just no like, your harsh hands. line. And then maybe just kind of like do a gentle, like as you're drying your hands, right. you just like rub it in a bit. And then you don't get like the white knuckles that like, doesn't sit in the skin. Very impressed with you today. Yes, maybe you do that next time. Thank you. Very my issue is, is when I fake tan, I fake tan at about half one in the morning. So I don't want to wait. I can't be waiting an hour. Gonna that to me because by the time i've mustered Maybe up the courage to fake tan now. it's like right before i'm going to sleep, sleep. Interesting. i just can't be asked like i just can't be asked to do any close the window can you hear that yeah it's quite fresh for us it's kind of cold for me i do have the definition of boudoir if anyone is ready yeah i'm ready uh right so take your guesses is that it actually makes sense boudoir this is the actual definition of boudoir i don't know so it's it's a woman's bedroom or a woman's small private room. Oh, so it's like a lady's room. Oh, almost like a little right. dressing room. But let me boudoir, get the like where I keep my jewelry, yeah. and my lingerie, and yeah. But where I it, get ready, where I do my let makeup. Me just, yeah, is it, it English? It's then? French. It's a French woman's private sitting room or salon in a furnished accommodation. Usually between the dining room and the bedroom, so it's actually like a dressing room. But so can also refer to a woman's private bedroom. That I love. That I want to wear separate. Well. well, technically, my clothing room, dressing room—that's a boudoir. Yeah, that is. Oh, it's yeah, my guess, private. Yeah, that's my private dressing well, room. Well, this whole place really is a boudoir. <laughs> it's a boudoir. It's our private <laughs> it's female a boudoir. space. Yeah. Wow! I love. Look wow. at these old, olden boudoirs. Wow! So we've got like, like a really, chaise a lot chaise lounge, a little chaise lounge. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, look, 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 look. A, boudoir. a little boot. Oh my god, look at this boudoir. Lovely. We've got vanities in there. We've a got little some lovely chairs. Got some nice plush seated. Yeah. Wow. Lovely Gorgeous. boudoir. That has opened my mind to a whole new. Me too. I'd love to. Yeah. yeah wow. I... Now. It's so a dream of boudoir, mine to have a proper boudoir. boudoir. Should the boudoir be, you know, in a, in a house? Should it be downstairs or upstairs? It's saying traditionally it's between the bedroom and the dining room. Yeah, is that what so it says? So it's like says? a big French so apartment. We're all on yeah. one level here. We're picturing here. We've got big double doors, high ceilings. ceilings. The walls have those, like, you know, the, 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 the borders the, the, on. Absolutely. Yeah, oh, I'd love that. Same. We've got a lot of character. The but building. then, got to be haunted. Has to be. That's there's the no, thing. there's no that's chance the that it's not, not haunted. Yeah, that's the thing for me. Because think how old those buildings are, and how many you know people have died, or <sighs> just spirits, or even just like shit that's gone down in that house. <sighs> it's just the energy is. Is or the it people's is it? bad omens that haven't left the space? Well, yeah, there'll have been divorces, old Arguments, people dying, maybe even you know, you know, and then there's going to be people lingering there, spirits, yeah, in the building. Kind of alarming to me. But some people embrace it like it's like oh it's got so much Car history, history character for sure 
Just don't be home like alone in the, in the creeks and so shitting myself. I don't feel like we are really. I wouldn't on that. thrive in a haunted uh, residence. Residence, but but maybe if I was living with someone potentially. Not for me. Still, yeah, still not for me. Who am I kidding? Who am I kidding? But yeah, it's gonna have to be a new residency for me. Going yeah, forward. I'm gonna have to relocate. I'm gonna have to sell up. Such a shame, imagine yeah. you buy something and then it's literally haunted and you're just like, no. Nope. Do you think, do you think before you, I mean, you, you can try, try do you think but you have to make peace with the, with the spirits. What if they're trying to force you out? And try, haunt do you. you think that, say if, say if, right, mm -hmm. I'm not gonna wish on either of us, but say if a house was haunted, right? Mm -hmm. And let's say you're selling that house. Do you have to tell the new person coming no. in? Because I think you might. Otherwise I think it's bad faith. If I'm really no. trying, if I'm really trying no. to cope, it's not my Seriously. goal, though, Sophia. No, I think it could be. Do you have? No, because to they could tell... not believe in that. It, 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 it's, it's a not new... everyone. Oh wait, I do don't you have to tell a new. What, what's the one we're saying? Like a, a purchase, like someone who's purchasing the new buyer of a house. Do you have to tell a new buyer that I don't your believe you do. House is haunted. Surely not. Sophia, no, you're trying I to sell think... it. Fair enough if like there's like damp, you need to say, oh, we've got, you know, there's an issue with the, well, that's what a surveyor does, isn't well, it? Well, yeah. But like, to do say... you need to tell a buyer your house is haunted? Okay. Just before we get into okay. this. Well, we've got all the time in the world. See, even just talking about this stuff. I'm so this girl jumping. says, I'm a real estate agent in Arizona. Right. And this topic actually came up in my real estate training class. Oh. The instructor, blah, blah, blah. Oh, said you don't have to disclose a potential ghost. But you do have to disclose a haunting. That's interesting. But 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 furthermore, how do you know it? This was a topic that he's been that has been debated at real estate conferences he has attended. Right. So it's actually Rules, a okay, ongoing okay. thing. Rules vary state by state. This is in America. Right. But as we learned in class, according to the Arizona Department of Real Estate, sellers are obligated by Arizona common law to disclose all known material facts about the property to a buyer. Right, so if they were like, look, there was an incident previously with a previous owner, I want to tell you about the incident, they reported a haunting. Yeah, yeah. okay, that makes sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, but, but if it's just Buyer like, beware. But you right. can't just say like, oh, well, we think it might, there might be a spirit. Because then you, then you, unless you've got like, there was a case, yeah. this happened yeah. in, in the past. You can't be like, oh, my wife thinks. <laughs> there's got a feeling. There's, there's a spirit. <laughs> there's a presence. Well, yeah, but like, you know, some places you've got like shit on tape. You know, you've got yeah. flashing. Oh, I'm yeah. getting all scared <laughs> now. I don't like it. You get banging. Scared. Yeah. I don't like it. No, it's, no, it's daylight. We're in a Blue brand sky. new building here. Brand, brand new, new property. Yeah. Brand new property. Which I think is the way to go for us. Well, for us. I'd love to have the balls to buy somewhere with character. Somewhere anyway, with character. Let's However, circle back to the point. We Welcome can... back, guys. Let's circle back round, let's take us back round to the start. Now, why are we here today? <laughs> how I did we get here? Why, how do we get there from Well, we start there? every boudoir. Boudoir, Because we're in the French. bedroom, that's where that whole thing went. Oh, can't wait to oh, create wow, my own has a pendant on it. Yeah, what does it say? Gia. Cute, if your name was Gia, that is so cute. If your name was Georgia, I actually you really like the name Gia. GG. GG. I think it's yeah. lovely, yeah. Do you see what Chiara named her baby? No, I missed that. Victoria. Really cute. Wow. Really so cute like Victoria, baby. but not. It's like Victoria. That's lovely. I want to name my little girl Chiara. Because then it's Chintzy and Chiara. That's the only one I've got locked in now. I, about the boys' okay. ones, I'm okay. all over the place. So that is the say, only one that's locked let's in. Let's say for argument's sake. Oh, here we go. <laughs> She's stealing my name. No, let's say for argument's sake, your husband, love mm -hmm. of your life, father of the child. <laughs> By the child says, you, says um, my ex-girlfriend was called Chiara. Well, then that's not happening, obviously. I can't have your exes, your ex <laughs> okay, being okay, present in okay, our child. Okay, so, but let's just, let's just say he says, I think that would be, let's the, say he yeah. says, Chintzia, darling, I don't like that name. And you're like, it, 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 it's a solid name for me. It's, and it's, he's like, I want to veto that name. Like, I really, I don't like that name. I'll say what's wrong with it. It's just like Chintzia. Yeah, but he doesn't like it. There can't gonna... be an issue with that. It's just no. Like... There's an issue with it. He's not happy. <laughs> well, I'll say, look, this is going to be an ongoing thing. We need to talk about this because it's really passionate. About and me. what's the solution going to be if it's... it doesn't change? If you've got a very stubborn husband who won't change his mind, well, are you going to sacrifice the name or are you? Gonna I think he's going to have to compromise. I'll be like, I'll compromise on the guys' names. Look, please have free reign. 
you know, the only one right now. You can look back on a video from 2021, babe, and you can see me, Chintia, talking about the name Chiara and saying it's the only thing but that's solid for me. But you can see me here also saying, look, your best friend warned you about this. And I've said, look, she I'm here today. Psychic sense, I'm here know? today, babe, baby, my darling, <laughs> telling you today that Chiara is the name and if you can't... So you wouldn't budge on it? I, well, I really like it. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just you and Chiara. It's so cute, like two little besties. Yeah, but you know... Okay, it's like you reference. should have Sophia and... What's another S? Serena. Serena. See, that is so... Sophia and Serena, Chintzy and Chiara. Are you mad? Oh my God, what looks awesome. And then it will be Chiara and Serena. Serena and Chiara. Oh. Are you mad? What angel is that going to be? Chi and... C? Sir? S. Just call it S. <gasps> oh, Gina. yeah. What's the short name for Serena? What's the? I think it. I think you just call it S. Nina. Yeah, that's actually cute. Nina, a little bit of Nina Dobrev. Dobrev. Yeah. yeah. Super cute. Super cute. Right. Anyway, so guys. back round to why we're here today. So we're right. Circling it back round. We're here today to talk Lounge about underwear. underwear right. Hot girls Hot summer. summer underwear. Now I know we're both in white today. Why are you sad? I literally haven't worn white in about two months. Me neither. This is actually we're all great. about the colour. White is white. No, it's not, but pretty white. Pretty, pretty white, white to me. Off white. So we'll we're here to there. talk about underwear and we're here to talk about bright underwear. We're here for a bright Do you think you buy set. more underwear if you're single or in a relationship? I wonder what the statistic is on yeah, that is. Like, are you buying sexy underwear if you're single? Like, you know, on the. I feel like I, I take more pride in it be, being single because I want to feel good for myself. Me I, too. I, I don't want to buy it for my boyfriend. Because did they even care? No. I feel like I want to buy. Like, I'm so happy with these sets. Yeah. You know, bring you a lot of joy. Because I'm saying, we, we, like, we want to. I want to walk around. The boudoir. The, the boudoir. Oh, the boudoir. We were saying yesterday. It's a beautiful sunny day. Yeah. You've just had a beautiful bath, maybe half an hour bath. You yeah. Know, you've got your favourite tunes on. Yeah. Really picture this, guys. Maybe you've got the girls' bathroom playing. Girls' bathroom playing. Great you've podcast. got, you know, your favourite glass of orange juice on the side. Yeah. Or matcha, whatever floats your boat. Or if, even a smoothie. Or, or maybe iced coffee. A Coke. Even a Coke. Diet Coke. I've just had a Diet Coke. It's the middle of the day. Right, maybe. Maybe crazy. Yeah. Fanta, orange. Yeah. It's summer. Fanta lemon. Fanta tank plastic. What was that called? Fanta fruit twist. Fanta fruit. That makes you feel a bit. I used to have that. that with, I, used, I used to have. I used to love it, and then I had it with vodka. Like yeah. when we were like nineteen, and now I just can't look at yeah. it the same. I don't think I could take a sip of that ever again. I don't think I could. I associate but that I, with a strong vodka. But I also associate orange juice. With the thought makes me want to be sick. Orange I associate orange juice with being no, sick. No, but listen, there is and really strong. Vodka. There is a difference between the orange juice you get in a club or a bar and a fra just nice fresh orange juice you can get. And freshly, feed yourself. Sque freshly squeezed. Freshly squeezed with some bits. I like bits. You like bits? I don't like bits. But then that, that really is like, oh, it's fresh on the fruit. Yeah, but I don't want the bits. Interesting. I'll, 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 I'll... Gives it a bit of true. I don't want that in my drinks. Interesting. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so, so, let's where get to it, we? guys. So we're having a drink. We're in the bath. We're getting out. We're putting on our body oils. We're freshly tanned. Her hobo oil. And then we're popping this Her on. Hello. Lovely. So all about the colour, we've got a bit of orange. Um, we were saying this reminds us of a peacock, of a bird. Of a bird. Of the Hunger Games. Of the Hunger Games, of the, of the bird that... Is she a does she, jay? Does is she, she a jabba jay? Does she fly out into the... Oh, oh, uh, who is flying out into a bird and it's like red? Who is like becoming a bird and like <laughs> flying off? Like why do I have that image? It? And it's like red wings. It's like red and orange. Like this is literally... So it's she like... Is someone becoming it or is it from the Hunger Games and she doesn't become a bird? <gasps> oh my god, it's the costume! The and there's a dress, it goes like that, and she's got the bird. Wait, Hunger I don't think Games orange. bird dress. These are so pretty. They've got like a V at the front, like it's a oh, really flattering it's shape. blue. So get out your blue set. That's what it, do you know what? That's what it's reminding me of. So why are we thinking red? Because I had the same. But there is an image of also an orange bird with red. There is. There, there is. is. But and what's it's flying. That from? But look, peacock vibes. Peacock vibes. Look, this is totally. Look, if you've got a fascination for Hunger Games, 
This is very yeah, this is <laughs> Very <laughs> for me. So it's like, why are you here? District 12. Dis <laughs> I should be called the Katniss <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Katniss Everdeen. <laughs> District 12. <laughs> the tribute, sir. Oh, the, tri the mocking Jay, sir. <laughs> the tribute, sir. <laughs> President Snow, sir. <laughs> Gorge. Peter, right? what's his name? Peter and Peter, Gail. Gail would love this one. Yeah. They'd love to see Katniss in there. <laughs> Bit of Baba. Maybe she had this on under the peacock dress. Maybe she did. Wouldn't be surprised. Wouldn't be surprised. If she had some kind of peacock, you know, inspired lingerie. Real good. R.I.P. R.I.P. Sinner. <laughs> um, but Never the orange is sensational. But yeah, Lounge has a sale on right now. It's going on for the whole week. Yeah, the birthday sale. It's lounge turns five. Fucking hell! So it's ten percent to sixty percent off, but you need to be quick. So like, go and have a look and see what's <laughs> what's. You know, what feel that? <laughs> go and see what's going off over there because this is sexy, and it's a whole really summer appropriate. Vibe, but it's just yeah, I don't know what. That Another is. color which is just like va va. Do you know what we were saying yesterday as well? Yeah. Well, Ty, I mean, yeah, with this, like. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. Even if you had like a white shirt dress on, absolutely, with this on underneath, and not that not that you want to be able to see it through it, but it's just like if you if it just peeks out, by like we've not put it on so that we're showing off the bra, but if by chance you're seeing a bit of orange sexy lace, yeah, it's like it's like you're put together, yeah. I mean, pink of the color, pink of the what? Pink color, color of the day, color of the season. On hey? Wednesdays we wear pink. Look at that. It's actually beautiful and it's actually cut it's really v, high. Actually. It's cut really high. It's got a little flattering V there, you see. Mm. It's cut really high so we're not spilling out, but we're still seeing a bit of nip poke through the mesh. Yeah. Super sexy. Super sexy. Lace and mesh is just where it's at, really, for me. And also for no us. padding. For us, where it's at, it's lace and a bit of underwire and no padding. A bit right? of balcony just... action. Balcony action, we've got a bit of a plunge. And these are the comfy pants as well. Little like thong. Best pants in the world. Tiny at the back, so Can't it's not going to be hurting our Also, a little bit of keyhole. Through the keyhole. Through the key. What a shit show. <laughs> she fucking loves that shit. Through the keyhole. I think I've ever watched it. I think you have. I'm sure you're like, oh, I love that show. Do you know what I've been really loving? Um, Gogglebox. Oh, uh, is there new ones? No, but to like, I'm, I'm, I'm literally watching, it's kind of sad, like, I'm actually watching Gogglebox on 4ID catch up, like, nah. old seasons. Oh my god. But, like, I'm actually, like, laughing. Like, it's I, funny. Fi I find it so funny. It is. I've been watching it for the past three nights, just, like, in bed Aww. to fall to sleep. I've just been like, but I find it hilarious. Yeah. Everyone, you need to watch Team First Dates also if you haven't yet, <sighs> because it's, like, it will make you laugh and it'll make you cry and it'll make you just want to, like, go on a date. As a teen. As a teen. And like have your little first kiss. Yeah. And... Next I have this beautiful orange number. Look which is this. maybe my favourite. This is like a rust. It looks more orange on camera, but it's like a rusty burnt orange. I've Absolutely. always loved this like rusty burnt orange. Especially colour. on the blonde. Yeah. Really. Again, nice. like nice high cup, so we're not actually spilling out. It really cut high, but still lace, you can still see a bit of knit. Yeah. I think it's cute. Beautiful colours. Really nice. Look, Gorge. again, just a nice flattering thong, not too thick, so we're not getting a big fat wedgie up the bum. Not getting bum ache. Bum ache or vagina suffocation, you yeah. know. Not, all things we want to avoid in this day and age. In this day and age. Last thing I want to do is sit down and be like, fucking hell, this thong is tight. Yeah. You know, just like, you know when it's like almost like there's not enough material to, to cover? To, but to cover, but also like it digs in when you like sit, sit down. down. Like, we need more length on that. I agree. But I these agree. don't do that, I can assure you. Yeah. Ooh. I'm thinking cobalt blue is still the colour of the season. Colour of the season, absolutely. Well, all colour is the colour of the season. I right. love that. I've got this cut again. Got a little charm. Got a little charm in the middle. Again, we've got lovely, like, high cut. Very Cinderella still, vibes. Very Cinderella vibes. Still mesh. You can Think see of that. It's going to be Halloween before we know it. Shit. God, it's going to come around like we're sorting our costumes out in July. What are we going to do? Yeah. We're not going to your Jasmine and yeah. I'm Sleeping Beauty. Okay. So let's just leave it. We're not talking about it anymore because we'll, we'll talk about it for half an hour. Blue is where it's at. Yeah. Sophia's also This got is like the mesh set. Probably one of the comfiest sets because there's no fastening. Oh, so the it's mesh very is just the best. like slip on and off. Also makes the boobs look really good because. Oh, the mesh is the best. This like 
I don't know what it is, but these cups just really give the boobs some life. It gives life. you a proper like cleavage down the middle. It's really like, nice. If your boobs don't naturally sit like that, that bra will actually make them sit and like that. And then again, these are probably my favourite pants because they're just super mini, like almost so micro. Cute. Um, I love the little Mesh, thin straps. Super sexy. Got little, got little charms on them. Um, just really, really cute. This is the matching pants. That is pants so sexy. The blue. To Again, we've got a little key charm. I love the mesh. Super thin straps. It's yeah, just really, really nice. Really the mesh. Really here, honestly here for the blue. I think if you're gonna get any color, get the blue or the orange. Blue or orange. Cause like, come Mix on, it like it's fun. Like let's not buy white or black. Like, no, if, love a white or black set. We've got, got, got white or black set. But like, if you're just in the market for like one new set, look at the blue. It's gorgeous that. Like is. with blonde, like it looks, look with blonde, brunette. Nice, like red hair. This is gonna pop red hair. As well. Oh my god, red hair. You look like a fucking. I princess. really want to dye my hair red. You know. Like, like I'm this talking, is serious. I'm talking like Rihanna red. Like you know when Kylie had the red. I saw so a girl. That's red. I, saw a girl, I saw a girl on TikTok and she's like, "This is your sign to dye your hair red." Oh my goodness. And I was like, "Do I it. think it? I don't think it wouldn't suit me, but I think it would look really good on you." Like red, red. Not like. Red. Like when like Kylie went red, it was like red. No, it wasn't though. But like, it was, like, was it almost like because she was almost still brunette, but it was red. It was red, yeah, but it it didn't look crazy. Yeah, no, it looked no, it looked normal. But yeah, it looked normal. That's and nice. what I mean. Yeah, because like, it's not like it's a vibrant yeah. red. I just it's feel, quite like a it's quite like a yeah. dark red. I just think it's. Gorgeous. I just feel like if I had red hair, I'd, I'd find it really hard to dress myself. You think you'd be clashing with everything? Yeah. Because, well, I'd, I'd love to wear like all the colours, but then I'd just be very conscious that there's a lot going on here. I've got red hair and I'm in a, and I'm in a blue dress and I've got, I just, I'd probably just, I'd be so, I don't know, it definitely switched to me. You'd probably just want to wear like white or black and yeah. denim. Do you know what I mean? You'd probably just want to wear fucking Maybe white top and more denim. for like the winter time. Yeah. I hear that. Talking of white and black sets. The basic bitch set. But I'm sorry, still there's nothing better than a, than a fresh, I mean fresh, look, we're in white today, it's so uh -huh. fresh. Uh -huh. This is the same cut as that pink one, like the little V in the front, again, super supportive, but sexy, but you know, high coverage, but still nips are showing. Yeah, it's just ideal. And the thong, we've got the peekaboo at the back, little holy hole. I wonder why um, guys don't have such Just like, look how nice, I mean, that's just so fresh. Imagine if like box shorts putting this fresh. could be like cut out. I know. Like, you know kind Imagine of crazy. little assholes, little ass key holes. Yeah. Fucking hell. Like this waistband. But like they like walk, because like, we wear these on a day to day. Yeah. Like the little. Bizarre. Right? Okay, now super sexy black. Oh, uh, I mean, I, I, I black know we just slagged them off, but. We did just slag off black, but there's nothing better than actually putting on a clean white set or a clean black set. Classics. So it's got, Matching. again, like, micro at the back, so I feel like this is quite breathable. Chef's kiss. Thin strap. Thin, These are want. good when you've got, like, um, a satin dress on, because sometimes a thicker waistband in pants yeah. really shows you up. You need, like, minimal so, tiny straps. Yeah. And then this black one, God, I sound so amazingly. Oh, this black even. one um, has, like, a lovely charm at the front. That's like the blue one. Really, that's honestly really nice new work. Uh, I feel like you all need classic black and whites, but oh, is this the exact same? Oh, yeah. Uh -huh. I have the exact same black set. Ten out of ten. I mean, look at that. You can't go wrong. Like if you can't you're, go wrong, if you're, but it's just a safe bet. Oh, this is like if you're not into a thong, full of coverage brief. Yeah. So if it's your period day, yeah. You know, you got a tampon and don't really want to be rocking a thong. Nice big Shoving full coverage there, yeah. brief. To me, that looks pretty good to me, eh? Pretty nice. Oh, sorry. Well, okay, I came a bit close there. <laughs> sorry, I'm not used to it. Last set I've got here. It's a bit me of bar bar boom, but it's sexy. Ooh. Yeah, a bit of black and white action. Same More bird action. More bird action. Same as the Mocking J set from the beginning. Katniss Everdeen. Yeah. But we're going black and white here. And maybe this is like District Three vibes. Maybe this is Dick. Which one's to District Thirteen? Is the poorer poorer? So three, we're kind of high. Yeah. Yeah. Kind of sexy. District. District 3 vibes. What did they do in District 3? I don't know. I have to Google it. Yeah. But this is really nice coverage in the front. If you want more coverage in the front but still a thong, get this set because it's really high coverage. It's not got the super thin straps but it's covering everything up. And then again, really? just the best cut. Look at that. This is really the nice. very like fancy bras. Yeah. And then last... Hair extensions just coming out. Oh. Last I have this kind of like super sporty kind of vibe. Love. Set. Very like chilling at home I vibes. I feel like this would be good for the bigger busted ladies because it's very high cut. 
So if sometimes you, when you like lean forward, if your boobs like pop out the front, I feel like this would help with that because this is very. The thing is, like, if I'm wearing a big t-shirt, I just want to wear a bra like yeah, that. Like, same. like end of the day, I just want to wear a bra like that. No and then at the back. these pants, just nice comfort day to day. They have, they go super thin at the back, but again, a thick stretch. Show the stretch on there. The stretch is immense. Wow, look at that. Look at wow. that. Whoa. Whoa. So yeah, very just like at home comfy pants. Yeah. 10 right? out of 10. 10 out of 10 for me. Classics. They're like proper good period pants. They're like still yeah. a bit sexy. Like we're not got going full granny style here, but we've still got a I bit of I think these thong. are kind of sexy. They're yeah. sexy. It's a mesh. Like mesh but comfort but you know still sexy 100%, 100%. um so yeah guys if you want to check out lounge's haul you've got to probably run over there now not haul sale sale run over there now because things will be selling out because it's 10 to 60 percent off but you've got 10 about 10 to 60 percent off 10 yeah. to 60 so if you can bag a 60 percent off deal fuck you now go go I mean, bag that's it now. a big saving isn't it big big saving over 60 over 50 percent i respect that i respect that too so head on over there. Uh, All thanks right, for guys. watching. Thanks for watching. Full uh, steam ahead to Hot Girl Summer. Um, can't wait. Almost April. Bang bang. Almost April, guys. Oh, new video at the end of the week. What's gonna What's it gonna be? Um, we'll do some sort of. Uh, we want to do some sort what of. Vlog, what what, what you fancy sort of, watching on Saturday night, guys? What do you want? Know. Like, what's like an activity we can do in the vlog that's like, like not boring, like not boring, like arts and crafts or like some sort of cooking, like something we want to eat. You know. I think we try and make some spring rolls. So we got, what, the fresh spring rolls? I've got all the shit to do it, we can do it. I've got all the shit. So Remember watching, I made them that time, I've got all the shit. I was watching Emma Chamberlain, she made spring yes! rolls. Yes! I've got all the shit. And I thought, oh, so Sophia, I on. made them the other day. We, you put prawns in, we do avocado, we do this, the lettuce, and then right, we put, we'll do that then. We put some, and Kim makes them all the time, when Kim makes them and eats them, I'm like, oh my God, it looks delicious. Then we need to, I've got hoisin sauce, we dip it in the hoisin sauce. You put a bit of crunch in there, but you also put the noodles in there, so it's like filling. Whole meal that is. All we need to do is get a few prawns and some lettuce and avocado and whatever else you want to put in. Stunning. We'll do it because I've got all the shit. <gasps> yes, let's do that Stay tuned, Friday. Guys. Thursday night? Delicious. On that note, thank you for watching. Thanks for watching, guys.